Hey, good evening. Welcome to Sylvan Mist Designs. Tonight, I wanted to take a few minutes just to show you some really simple tricks, tips, and just general advice for finding the center of a project. First, let's start with the real simple basic. Let's assume that you're taking a square canvas. This one may seem like common sense. Take your ruler, make sure to line it up with the corners edge to edge and draw a line. Do the same on the other side. Just line it up on your corners. Your center is right where these are going to cross. Okay, but what if you have a circle? The easiest way that I found that's going to be really simple to reuse as well Take your cutout, use a pencil, and draw a line. Cut that out so that you have a shape equal to the size of your project. Now with this, what you want to do, fold the paper in half twice. And this crease that over again. So now you have the circle in equal forms. Now, take the edge and line it up here. And now your center will be right at the tip. One other thing that you can do with this though is you can also make your grid lines. Open the paper back up and start half. Again, line it back up. Just trace along the edge. You have your half. Again, you can do that this way as well. Now you've at least this in half. If you want to get more detail, you can certainly fold this again into A. Line it up. And continue to draw around. What if you happen to have a very large circle? Maybe a tabletop or a large disc that's going to go on the wall. How in the world do you get center of this when you can't quite use a piece of paper? At the moment, I don't have such a large surface to show you on, so we've scaled it down. On your large surface, grab yourself an eight and a half by 11 white paper, just whatever you've got. Let's pretend for a moment that this boss is eight and a half by 11. Take it and fold the paper lengthwise in half. Open that back up and lay it out. What you'll do next is take the short edge of the paper, doesn't matter where on your circle, but line up the edges here so that the tips are just at the edge of your circle. Make a small notation here, a little dot, whatever you want to do, at the crease of the paper. Do that on both ends. Now take your ruler, line your ruler up on the two, and make a line. It doesn't necessarily matter how, just make a line towards the given center, somewhere in this general direction. Then turn this around and do it again. Doesn't necessarily matter how far you turn it.
it won't matter how much you turn your project, but I would at least get to the other side here. Again, do the same thing. Mark on the crease. Use your ruler to line up the two dots. And then again, now make a line that crosses this one. And voila, you've got your center. Now, does it really make center? Let's double check. Let's take a look here. And there you go. Just the same as doing it with the paper. So what if you have something of an irregular shape or size? A couple of ways that you can do this, and keep in mind, you don't always have to have it specifically centered. When you have an item like this, it's perfectly fine to offset your center just for artistic effect. No one is going to mind if you're slightly off. One of the easier ways to do it again, just with the standard ruler, is measure your item and give or take near the middle. Again, we don't have to be precise. And find your halfway mark. At that point, you can simply make a mark and do the same on the other side. Again, give or take somewhere in the center. And then where your two lines cross, you'll have your center. Additionally, if you have just a compass, instead of using the ruler, align your compass so that the pencil tip and the pointed tip reach across the item. Now your compass will have measurements here. So you'll just want to adjust your compass to half of that width. And then go ahead, once you have that aligned, and mark your center. Do the same for the other side. And then find your center. And mark it there. Now, a lot of these are actually reusable. This one, I have an Expo marker in my hand and I'll show you why. Especially with these acrylic rods, if you struggle with getting your first dot exactly on top here, one of the things that you can do is line up your tool, make sure you've got it nice and perfect. Then take your marker, oops, make sure mine is center. Take your marker and follow the line up the rod. So now you'll have the markings here on the rod. And you'll do that for all four sides. Then the next time you're going to come back and do your project, all you'll have to do is quickly adjust the lines as you lower the dot into place. And you'll be perfectly centered. Now, although this is super simple, one of the ways that you can absolutely reuse this is to take and make a hole here in the center and continue to reuse this. You can certainly fold then either with or without the lines. In this case, it won't necessarily matter. Again, either putting a hole in your tip or marking it. And then you can continue to use this as a guide for all of your projects within that same size. The advantage, if you have a center point here, is you'll quickly, without silly making a mistake, line this up over your canvas, for example, and then use a pencil or even your first dot to go right through the hole. There we have it. A compass, a ruler, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. And I've been able to find the center on almost 
any one of the projects that I decide to pick up. If you have any questions, let me know. Drop me a comment. If you have any other suggestions like these that are simple and quick, I would absolutely love to hear them. Again, drop a comment below and I'll check them out. If you haven't already, take a quick moment to subscribe and I'll be back soon with some more tips, tricks, and some beautiful art. Take care and enjoy your evening. Good night.